talk about uh, just lastly, well not lastly, but love of this world's life. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. Because I watched the fight last night, Mayweather and uh, Conor uh, McGregor. McGregor. Y'all, everybody see that last night? Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. And you know that's that that's been in the news, man. When did they start talking about that fight? Has it been like a year or something like that? It's been a year. About a year. They've been talking about that fight for like a year. Yes, sir. Um, and then the other thing that they've been talking about a lot is uh, at least a year is Colin Kaepernick and the NFL. Right. That's right. 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 And. I just wanted to talk about the love of this world's life, which is, according to, according to the Holy Quran, sport and life. Sport. Come on yes, now. That's sport. Right. That's, that's right there. I mean, straight up. Yes, sir. So, Surah 57, verse 20 reads, Know that this world's life is only sport and play. My, my, my. And, you know, it's interesting because we've been having this debate in the barbershop about uh, the NFL, you know, and boycotting the NFL. And... Yes, sir, go ahead. Please. This world's life is but sport and play. Sport and play. Yes, sir. And I say that because we say in this book that there is no doubt so if Allah says a thing, mm -hmm. it's absolutely true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That know that this world's life is not but sport and play. The enjoyment of this world's life is not but sport and play. And I want I want to hammer that into your heads because you tell brothers to boycott football. <laughs> no oh, sir. Yes, sir. You must be out your damn mind. <laughs> And principally, let me, let, me, and let me say why it's important that I believe that we should boycott the NFL. Yes, sir. Just a few little points. Because I don't even want to say boycott. I mean, it's a boycott if you're not watching. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. But I mean, I don't want you to go outside and pick it outside of NFL headquarters or nothing like that. But I just want to prick your consciousness as to why I am not watching. Right? And I like football just like everybody else. I don't have any any uh, affinity to any particular team. I like when the Broncos win because it's good for business. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, it really is. People are so happy. They come in, they get their hair good, and they talk about the game, and they get good. So it's good for business. Right? But the NFL, which could stand for Negroes for lease or yes. <laughs> not for long, yes. pick, a, pick, a, pick a initialism, whatever yes. you want to do. Yes, they, first off, it's a privately owned business, right? So they can do whatever they want. That's first and foremost, right? And there's nothing wrong with that in a capitalist society as a privately owned entity. Yes, you can do whatever you want to do to your employees. If they put up with it, that's on them, right? Yes, sir. So, it's a billionaire's boy, boys club. That's right. I'm nothing but white men. Mm -hmm. And the players are 85% black. 85%. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they make, and it is the most profitable of all of the leagues. It's more profitable than the NBA, than Major League Baseball, than uh, hockey, than soccer. That's right. The NFL is king. But no one gets guaranteed money. What I mean by guaranteed money is none of the contracts that the brothers secure are guaranteed. They can change at any time. Any time. In the NBA, they get guaranteed money. Right. Um, baseball, they get guaranteed money. 
any of these these uh, leagues that the athletes are primarily white, there's always guaranteed money. Um, in the rare instances that there is guaranteed money in the NFL, in the very rare instances, it's usually a white player. It's usually a Tom Brady or a yes, Peyton sir. Manning. Yes, sir. Manning, yeah. But in terms of the black players, no. The whole thing with Colin Kaepernick. You know, Colin Kaepernick, uh, of course, he refused to stand for the singing of the national anthem. Which he should. That's right. Refuse yeah. to stand for the singing right. of the national That's anthem. Right. Yes, sir. Um, but Colin Kaepernick has never been convicted of any crime. Come on. He has never uh, been in any trouble. He simply took a political stance, and they have effectively boycotted or blackballed him out of the league. Right. 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 They've got lesser quarterbacks who, who are making uh, tens. You know. You know, millions of dollars. Yeah. Lesser quarterbacks. I mean, I, I can state their names, but I, I don't have to. They, um, the other thing that they just did, if you guys are fans, Ezekiel Elliott, who's the running back for the Dallas Cowboys, right. they suspended him right. for uh, six games over some allegations that happened right. before he even got into the league. Mm. Mm. Now, Again, they can do whatever the hell they want to do, right? Mm -hmm. That is probably own corporation. But did you all know that Peyton Manning had the same type of allegations that happened to him before Come he came on. to the league? Come on, bro. And they didn't even reveal it until he retired. <laughs> so my point is they treat brothers fundamentally unfair sure. compared to white athletes. Absolutely. So as a as a as a black man of conscience, I don't like slavery. Come on now. That's right. I really don't. And that is slavery. Yeah, they're making millions of dollars, but that's slavery by any other name. That's right. and, and, and let me let me be clear on that. Because this is this is uh this is modern Rome. Is that right? That's yes, right. Sir. I mean, it really that's is. That's right. During the Roman times, they had what they called gladiators. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. They had gladiators who came to a big place called the Coliseum. What's that uh, spot in L.A. called where they play football? Is that called the Coliseum? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. They 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 came to the Coliseum and they would put these brothers in the in the ring and they would fight it out to the death. Now these dudes they do the same thing with the NFL. Every week, these brothers are in a car accident. Wow. Think that'll I mean when you when you got a three hundred pound man running toward you full speed and you collide, hmm. that's a car accident. Okay. Yes, sir. Every week. For sixteen weeks straight. And we don't have to talk about the movie concussion and all of that, you know what I mean? And this the the, the uh hiding of the condition of these athletes for years and years and years and then it comes out but then it's still not really a big deal right. you know what I mean because the money is flowing the money is flowing right. so we got to keep things going yes sir so for all of these reasons and the fact that the NFL even though it is a the most profitable of all the leagues did you all know that it is a non-profit organization? Wow. <laughs> Didn't know that. It's a non-profit organization. Remember, I don't like slavery. Come on. We're in the preseason, right? Yes, Broncos sir. just played last night. That's right. Did you all know that for those four preseason games, none of the players get paid? Mm. Wow. I mean, just think that over. Wow. None of the players get paid. The players get paid for 16 weeks. That's a 16-week season. Wow. That's right. They do not get paid. That is slavery. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. Like I said, a lot of them make it. They're making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. But you got to think about it from a business standpoint. If you got four weeks 
where the players do not get paid in the preseason. Mm. How much are the tickets to the game during the preseason? Right. Are they free? No, sir. Go ahead. No, sir. Are the concessions free? No, sir. Is there still advertising that takes place? Yes, sir. And don't get me started on the, on the playoffs because the playoffs is the same uh, <laughs> scenario. Remember, I just said they get paid for 16 weeks. Right. That don't include the playoffs or the Super right. Bowl. Right. That's crazy. Once they get to the uh, uh, to the playoffs, depends on whether they win or whether they lose. That determines how much they get paid. They pay their bounty players, basically. So when you get to uh, the first round of the playoffs, you will make uh, and it's it's a good little chunk of change. It's twenty five thousand or whatever, right? Uh, 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 per player per week if you make the playoffs. But consider this: if you're a 16 million dollar man like Peyton Manning was for the season that means you get paid a million a week right yes, sir. 16 weeks you mean to tell me to play in the playoffs where the tickets are three times the cost of what they were during the regular season now you only paying me 25,000 and it goes like that all the way through the Super Bowl but we just watch and enjoying ourselves. Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> right? Because this world's life is not but sport and play. We just watch it and enjoying ourselves because we worked all week. And, oh, uh, man, it's true. <laughs> we just watching and enjoying ourselves because during the off season, we was waiting for football season to start. Yes, sir. That's right. I mean, straight up, it, it's like we don't have no other pleasure, no other uh, outlet other than the National Football League. Wow. That's right. Oh, yeah. But the reality is, just like everything else in this country, they don't give a damn about the black man. They, no, they don't. That's right. And the minute you stand up and yeah. show that you got some cojones, right. they blackball you like they right. did Colin Ka Kaepernick. Yes, sir. That's, right. That's why I'm not watching. That's Go right. ahead. Yes, sir. That's right. That's why I'm not watching. Now, the reason I, w I did want to watch the fight last night, because this world's life is not but sport and play. Sport and play. Go but, ahead, brother. <laughs> but one is I just like Floyd Mayweather. Yes, yes sir. sir. And I don't like Floyd Mayweather. Floyd uh, Mayweather because he's a humble brother and he gives so much to the community <laughs> because he does it. Right. I mean, I was just keeping one hundred. He right. does it. Right. Right. But what Floyd has been able to do that most black athletes are never able to do oh, is he's been able to write his own ticket. That's oh, right. That's right. Floyd oh, that's recognizes, unlike the players in the NFL, his own value. That's, that's, that's right. right. Yes, Go sir. Ahead. Yes, sir. Floyd, like, look, man, whenever I fight, I bring a billion dollars to Las Vegas. Believe it. Hmm. Believe it. The hotels is filled up. Right. Hmm. See? Casinos is filled up. Right. See? Right. Stadiums is filled up. See? Your rental car companies is popping. Right. Wow. Hey. He know his value. Okay. Yes, okay. That's right. Yes, sir. Floyd came to the uh to the fight last night and had a ski mask. Yes. It was a ski mask. Oh, I love it. It was a ski mask. <laughs> on that. Yes, yes, yes. Floyd had a ski mask on. Put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag. <laughs> Think that over. I mean, he he showing these white people they and they was born. They booed Floyd. That's right. From the gate, they've been booing Floyd on the whole tour. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. right. <laughs> that's right. Floyd like, okay. Get <laughs> <laughs> this money. Floyd <laughs> said, "Man, look, I I just got three hundred million and thirty minutes. Yeah, that's right. Six right. minutes. Wow. And look at how cold it was. I mean, the marketing is in, is just. And genius. He got a look. You gonna fight a UFC fighter 
Floyd, now, now I understand just the magnitude of who Floyd Mayweather is, and just historically. He's a man who's never lost a fight. Yeah, yeah right. go ahead. Yeah. Say what you want about him, but he's never lost a fight. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. Meaning, pound for pound, he is possibly the best yeah. fighter ever. That's right. That's right. That's right. In the boxing world, Floyd's the guy, right? That's right, right, sir. So, he orchestrates the fight. They say, he done beat up everybody that he could beat up. <laughs> so here come Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor, little leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, you know, he like, this is smart on his part, too, now. Yes, right? Sir. But he like, man, I'll whoop Floyd and this and that. And Floyd like, nigga, please. You know? <laughs> but... It was just a it was just a thought in people's mind. Right, like, he ain't right. paying no attention. But then he got with his people and they started to crunch the numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, yeah. I mean yeah. this is just this is just ingenious, yeah. man. Yeah. It's ingenious. And then you're looking at the climate where yeah. you got Donald yeah, Trump. Right, right, that, right. You got yes, Donald exactly. Trump. Yeah. And now yeah. you got white boys who are just emboldened. Yeah, right. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. They're yes. running around here, man. They just tough. That's right. <laughs> right. They had a Ku Klux Klan uh, rally in, in uh, Charlottesville yes, sir. with no hoods on. No, no hoods hood. on. That's right. They Happy. show who they are. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, I mean, they're rolling up. They got this torches, the tiki torches. <laughs> tiki <laughs> torches. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Pure one. Pure one. But they don't have no hoods on. They like, look, man, our president. Right. We fulfill, fulfilling the vision of our president, Donald yeah. Trump. That's right. Making America great again. That's so right. he got white boys thinking they tough. That's right. So. Conor McGregor think that he could transition from the world of UFC to the boxing world against the best fighter ever. Floyd looking at like, okay, how much money can I get? Mm-hmm. Mm, they, they map it up, look, and Floyd's so ingenious, they map this thing up and they say, okay, your purse is going to be a hundred million. So that's what they that's what they pushing throughout the media that Floyd making a hundred million on this fight and Connor's making thirty million. Right. But you have to understand this, the economics of it all. Floyd, one of the smartest businessmen sports has ever seen. Mm -hmm. Floyd, after he went to jail for that domestic violence piece, y'all yeah. remember that? Yes, sir. I remember. When, after Floyd got out of jail, he fired all of his promoters. Because mm. in boxing, back during the day of Muhammad Ali and, you know, all them great fighters, Sugar Ray Leonard and yeah. all of them, used to have two promoters, mm -hmm. right? One was Don King, mm -hmm. right, who was the first one to get a million dollar purse. Mm -hmm. Don King revolutionized this. Another black man, is that right? right? Yes, sir. Yeah. But then you have Bob, Bob Arrow, Go ahead, teach. who was in boxing as well, right. who was a, in large part in Floyd's, uh, in Floyd's pocket for a long time until he went to prison. Now once Floyd got out, Floyd kicked all the promoters to the curb. Yes, sir. Y'all don't get no parts of this. I'm going to broker my own deal with Showtime. So what Floyd did was the, the, the fight was on Showtime pay-per-view, right? Yes, sir. Right. So Floyd got to deal with Showtime. Floyd, if you ever watch the, uh, what's the series that come on before it? All, all, all Access. All Access. Showtime All Access. All Access. If you pay close attention, Floyd Mayweather is the executive producer of All Access Showtime. Yes, sir. Go ahead. That's you. right. So he promotes both sides. Wow. Yes, sir. Floyd is getting paid on all ends. Yes, yes sir. Some, some like Rothschild. So mm -hmm. Floyd got paid when they look. Floyd so cold. He sent his sparring partner to go spar with Conor McGregor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, that's what he did. Yes, he produced all the segments leading up to the fight. All of his fighters fought on the undercard. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give the boy his props. Wow. Yes, sir. Man, give, give the man his props. Go I ahead. watched that fight not because it was about sport and play, because right. I was just watching the brilliance of a black businessman. Right. That's yes, right. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, sir. So, we can, uh, with regards to the NFL, like I said, man, I, I, I don't, I can't tell you what to do. I know brothers ain't going to listen to me anyway <laughs> in terms of watching or not watching, but um, we should definitely be conscious of what it is that we are watching and understanding that this is a gladiator sport. Yes, sir. And that just like in ancient Rome, it was families who owned each gladiator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was families. They were they were slaves. Yes, sir. Gladiators fought for a, a certain amount of money, but they were ultimately owned by those who put them in that ring. Right. And it's the same thing with the players in the NFL. Oh. They're owned by certain families. That's right. The billionaire boys club is what I call them. Yes, the, sir. The Broncos is owned by the Bowling family. Yes, sir. That's right. The Raiders is owned by the Davis family. That's right. sir. The Patriots, the Kraft family. That's right. So you go on and on, and none of them families are black. Okay. And they're not letting no brothers into any of them families. That's see? right. You see what I'm saying? So if we want to continue with this whole master slave stuff, okay. But I, I'm, I'm just not with that, man. I'd much rather watch, if I'm going to watch some sports, some team sports, Man, Ice Cube got a basketball. Come on, man. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if the brothers were just to realize um, their own power and their own potential and just know, like Floyd, that they are the product. If they were to recognize their value as players, they could turn this thing around overnight. All the players have to say is, for one week, man, we're not playing. That's right. Yes, sir. One week. That's right. That's all. And they can get whatever they want. But they they are too disunited. Yes, sir. Too fragmented. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, too Negro in their thinking. Go yes, ahead. Sir. To say that at this point. But when you have examples like Colin Kaepernick yes, and sir. Uh, I know Anquan Bolden, he retired in protest. He was playing for the, uh, I want to say, what was he playing for? Just somewhere back, back east. But he retired in protest as well. Um, if players like that stand up uh, and keep standing up, yes, sir. then maybe those brothers in the NFL will see the light. Yeah. But as consumers <coughs> of, the, of that particular uh, product, we got power brothers, too. we have power as well. Mm -hmm. If we stop watching, you know what I'm saying? And just do something else with your time. Yes, sir. There's so many things that we could be doing with our times that are productive. Um, and because there were there, there are people who say, well, just stop buying the products that are advertised on the television during the game. Yes, but that's not enough. Because the NFL and programs like that, they're run off of what we call ratings and revenue. Yes, the more people watch that's the ratings that generates more revenue. Mm -hmm. So the more people, if people stop tuning in, if they stop making the NFL so important, then maybe, just maybe, these brothers will have a chance to stand up and um, actually get a little bit more of it, be more of a, a, a owner in what they do, uh, like Floyd, as to being the slaves that they are. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I wanted to say this. And then we're going to be up, up out of here. Because we're still talking about love and duty. Is, like I was talking about those white boys in, uh, in Charleston, we have to love, we have to love the life that God has given us. And see, this is the cover of last week's final call, and it reads Domestic Terror. And it's just a picture of uh, what was going on in Charles, uh, uh, Charlottesville, like you said, in Charleston, Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. And you all know, if you haven't seen the news, there was a, a lady who got killed. She got ran over by the car. And this is a picture of 
the car running through the crowd and mowing people down, right? right. And if you saw the pictures and the video on CNN, it was mostly white people who were fighting each other. It was the, like I said, the white nationalists, the Ku Klux Klan. But then they have another group that they call on the so-called left, called Antifa. And you had a few brothers and sisters sprinkled throughout that crowd from the Black Lives Matter movement or whatever. But here's, here's my advice and our advice to, to us. Let them white people fight it out. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. Stay out the way. Man. Because this picture, you know, it got the dude running through the, through the crowd. But if you look really closely, there's a brother on the back of the car that got hit. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so he's one of the few brothers who was there, but he ended up getting hit, getting run over by the car. And, and, and I'm reminded of, uh, uh, of Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad, may Allah be pleased with him. <laughs> used to be a representative of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And he would say that God want to kill the devil, but you in the goddamn way. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> God want to kill you, but you in the way. So I would say, love your life that God gave you. And because God is, is going to clear the debt. Yes, sir. That's He's going right. to clear the debt. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, with rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. He called them the four great judgments. Yes, sir. And we see what's going on in Houston. And there's no military force that can stop Whatsoever. that rain. That's right. None. Whatsoever. So you and I, if we love God and are dutiful to him, and he's going to kill all of our enemies for us. Yes, That's sir. Right. He might even use us to help. That's right. That's right. Yes, That's sir. That's right. Yo. Come on. But stay out of the way of these large demonstrations of That's angry right. white people. That's right. Yes, sir. I just got to say that. That's stay true, out sir. of the way. If Black Lives Matter, man, matter yourself at home. That's <laughs> right. Yes, sir. That's right. That's yes, right. Sir. Matter yourself at home. Take care of your family. Yes, because sir. you don't need to be down there, man, in, in the mix of all these crazy white folks. Because right. they coming, man. That's Trump right. has emboldened them. Yes, and sir. all of these people, man, they rolling around and they got guns. Mm. That's right. And I mean, we might be we might be heated up. You know, we might have a little pop gun or whatever, a little thirty-two or something. But you don't, you ain't got what they got, man. These white folks is at the gun shows every weekend. Yes, That's sir. right. Yep. They stocking up on bullets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if we uh, aren't in the mix, let them shoot each other. Exactly. Yes, Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So let's value the life that God gave us because we have a duty to protect that. That is the most pre precious gift that he could ever give us, and he gave it to us us all. If we all sitting up in here, God gave us all life. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we do have a duty to protect it, right? And let me say this too, and I'm done. If we love a lot, yeah. Yes, sir. If we love a lot, then we have a duty, we have a debt to stay with his man. Right. He got a man that's present right now, and his name is the Honorable Minister Louis Farr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if we love God and we love our people and we know that we have something for our people that can benefit them, which we do, yes, then sir. we have to stay with him and help to bring our people out of this wretched condition. And with that, man, I want to thank you all for being so patient with me. Thank you for uh, coming to the Knowledge Cafe today. And I'm going to leave you as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.